In this episode of Velocity Labs, we're finding out what paint tastes like. Weighs. How much paint weighs? The idea for this video started while I was watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, and the subject of how much paint weighs came up. I linked that video in the description. If you're going to paint your car from bare metal, just how much weight will the paint add? There's only one way to find out, so let's do some science. So what's your best guess as to how much weight paint will add to an entire car? And by car, let's go with a smallish sports car, like a, an Eclipse or a Supra uh, or a Nissan Z, something like that. And by paint, I mean primer, paint, and clear coat. Think about it, pause the video, and put your best guess in the comments. No cheating. With my guess, I want to play it safe and say less than eight pounds for the entire car, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go rogue and I'm gonna say less than four pounds for the entire car. Ballsy guess, I know. So let's find out. All right, I have this big piece of sheet metal that's just lying around and taking up space in my garage. So let's measure out one square foot and paint that. From there, we can extrapolate how much weight paint will add to the entire car. You like that? Extrapolate. I'm using a straight edge and marker to mark out all my lines here. Now, I won't be able to make an absolute perfect square here because I don't have Nick Blackhurst level grinding skills, but uh, we'll be pretty close. Now, let's chop this up. There we go, one square foot. I'm going to do this just like a body shop would, so we'll prep this metal for primer first, then get our dry, unpainted weight. We're also drilling four holes in the corners of these plates so I can hang them up and paint them more easily. Yes, that's going to change the surface area of the metal that I'm painting because we've subtracted area where the holes are, but uh, they're pretty small and the edges and the inside of the holes also have surface area that will get paint on it, so it's probably a wash. My cuts aren't that precise anyway, so we're just gonna live with it. In order to remove the rust and prep for paint, I'm sanding the whole thing down with some 80 grit sandpaper. A lot of people think that primer and paint stick because of a chemical adhesion, but they don't. Paint sticks because of a mechanical adhesion. You literally need tiny little scratches for the paint to latch onto to stick to the surface that you're painting. All right, this thing is prepped and ready. I cleaned it with some paint thinner to remove any oils or residue, so here's the dry weight. I couldn't come up with any good poop jokes here, so uh, I'll leave that to you guys. I'll even send out a couple t-shirts to the best comments because uh, I enjoy good bathroom humor. I couldn't get the camera to read the weight here because the thing was too short, but uh, it's 625 grams. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hang this up and paint it. And uh, as for layers, we're gonna do three coats of primer. One acid edge coat and then uh, two coats of filler primer. When you're starting with bare metal on most cars, you're gonna put down a coat of acid edge primer or epoxy primer first then follow up with a couple coats of filler primer. So that is how we're gonna paint it. Uh, and we'll be painting it, uh, I guess this is the back side, um, just like we would paint uh, a replacement part. So both sides will get primered, uh, front side will get painted, all the edging around the back will get painted, uh, just like a regular production car, because like the very inside of the fender, they're not painting that, they're just sealing it up because uh, it's a waste of paint and clear coat, so that's how we're gonna paint this. So yeah, if you've ever taken a fender or bumper off a car, you'll notice that only the parts that are seen will get painted, so that's how we're gonna paint this piece. Oh, and if you guys are looking for good parts pulling tutorials, head over to Polo Parts channel and check them out. I linked it in the description. I shot a few tutorials for them and had a blast. Anyway, let's go ahead and paint this thing. Etch primer first, then two coats of high build primer, then we'll paint, then we'll clear coat. Now, you'll typically see two to three coats of paint and two to three coats of clear. I'm going to err on the side of caution and go with three coats of each, so we'll end up with a little bit more material than average, which means the paint will probably be a little heavier than average, but uh, if my hypothesis is correct, it's still not gonna add much weight. Clean up, let the primer dry for a couple days, and we're ready to weigh again. Oh, and we upgraded from toilet paper to paper towels here so we can see the scale better. I double checked the weight with a toilet paper roll just to make sure that it wasn't reading different, but uh, it was the same, so we're good to go there. The weight of the bare metal with the primer is 645 grams. So we added 20 grams of weight with the three coats of primer, or uh, 0.71 ounces. Next, the primer needs to be sanded with 400 grit and then 600 grit to prep it for paint. I prefer to wet sand. It's a little messy, but I like not having any dust in the air. Dry it out and weigh it again, and we get 642. So we took off three grams from sanding. Time for paint, so let's hang this back up. 
I didn't sand the back side where we won't be painting because uh, that's how a real part would get done. No one is going to waste time sanding something that won't be painted. Make sure it's clean and then we're ready for base coat. We're going to go ahead and spray three coats of paint on this piece. We'll edge the back of it as well just like you would if you were painting a fender, or bumper, or other part. Once all three coats of paint are on, then we're gonna mix up some clear coat. This is a four to one to one ratio, so we need to be accurate in our mixing, otherwise it's not gonna dry correctly. We'll be spraying three coats of clear coat here. One medium coat to start with, then followed by two heavy wet coats. Alright, all done. I let this dry for one day and weighed it and it came in at 652 grams. Then I left it outside for a couple days in the sun to help cure it and weighed it again and it came in at 651 grams. So we lost a gram over about uh, four days or so. We started with bare metal at 625 grams. So if we subtract that from 651, we get 26 grams of paint, which converts to just under one ounce for one square foot of finished paint. Anyway, so there's your answer. One square foot of paint weighs 0.92 ounces. So just how much to paint an entire car? I did a quick and rough blocking out of the square footage on my Eclipse. So the sides, the fender, the trunk, the hood, the roof, etc. And uh, I came up with 107.7 square feet for the exterior. Although it was super rough and I didn't measure out things like the underside of the hood, the fender edges, stuff like that. So uh, let's be safe here and just round it up to a nice even 150 square feet. So that means three coats of primer, three coats of paint, and three coats of clear on my entire car at 150 square feet would add 138 ounces uh, to the car, which is 8.6 pounds. Damn, I was close. My official guess was four pounds though, so I lose. Oh, and I found this handy chart online and it shows that the average compact car is about 200 square feet. So that's about 11 and a half pounds. I found it online though, so I can't vouch for its accuracy, but uh, it looks about right. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Some cars, especially high-end custom builds, get way more paint than that. And that's a good point. And most of you probably noticed I wasn't just painting one panel. And of course, why only do one when you can do two for twice the price? I painted another panel as well for science. And on this one, I put on five coats of primer, seven coats of paint, and seven coats of clear coat. And I did this to both sides. So we're talking 38 total coats on one square foot, which is silly, I know, but how much does that weigh? The weight of the bare metal of piece number two was 639 grams. And after the paint was all dried out after a few days, it was 706 grams. So that's 67 grams, which is 2.4 ounces. So that means a 200 square foot car with 38 coats of paint on it would weigh about 480 ounces or about 30 pounds. Is that significant? Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, so some final thoughts on this uh, extremely lax experiment that we did. The primer ended up being the heaviest component and uh, I'm really not surprised there. High build primer is designed to go on thick and fill in little imperfections so that you can sand it perfectly level. Primer guns and tips are even designed to spray more material than paint and clear coat guns, so it makes sense. Color will make a difference on the weight. This was a dark blue so it covered pretty easily. I can't even see a difference between three and seven coats. However, some lighter colors will require more layers for proper coverage, uh, while things like the color black will cover almost anything in just a few coats. Also, different pigments will have different weights by volume as well. So this test is fairly subjective based on color and, uh, and how much paint you put on. 
Another note to think about, OEM paint jobs from the factory are likely gonna be lighter than a body shop paint job. Car manufacturers are in the business of making money and they're gonna use the least amount of paint materials possible when they paint their cars. They have painting cars down to a tightly budgeted science. All right, what else? Oh, as the paint continues to cure, the pieces will get lighter. So I will add the weights of these pieces to the description of the video after one month, six months, and then a year to see if they change. If you have any questions, post them up in the comments and uh, let me know if you think eight to 30 pounds for a paint job is significant. I don't know, maybe for like a, a really super lightweight drag car, but um, even if you average it out to about 15 pounds, that 15 pounds is evenly spread out over the entire car. So eh, I really don't think it's gonna do much.